Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today uh, we need to get a little bit more access to our tub here and shower. So that means that this glass shower door and frame need to go. We're just gonna be replacing it with a simple uh, shower rod and curtain. Some people uh, would be like, why would you, it's like a downgrade, why would you be doing that? Well, we just need more access to give our little guy a bath and this thing's getting in the way. And it also, you stub your toe on it, it seemed like every time you're getting out. So stick with me a couple more minutes here and I'll show you the easy way to remove this from your tub and surround. Okay, so now we are on the inside of the tub. And first off, you have your two glass panels here. And uh, you most likely have some caulk or some silicone uh, here uh, on the corner between the surround and the, the bottom track. But we need to remove this little, there's a little bracket here that holds these glass panels in place uh, so they can't come out at the bottom but to remove them, that's exactly what you need to do. So um, you'll need to do a few things. One, there's usually a screw mounting that. And then two, you're gonna, um, either with a razor blade or you might have a, a caulk or silicone removal tool like this one, you're gonna need to kind of clear away some of the, I got some silicone here. We'll speed it up a little bit. Uh, take some time to kind of get all that silicone out so you're clear from both sides. If you use a razor blade, I would take your time. It's very easy if you're not paying attention to uh, scratch or gouge your fiberglass with a razor blade. So take your time and kind of clear it all out. All right, so now it's broke loose. And now you can take that. You can see how these ride within that channel. Now you take that piece off and we can remove these doors. So you pull the bottom part in and then lift up. And what you're trying to do is take these little rollers out of the track and then the, the panel will just come right off. Um, take your time, but these are tempered glass so they're fairly resilient. Unless you hit them exactly on the right spot in the corner, uh, then they will uh, blow up in your hands. So once those are off, we're gonna dive in to take the top plate off. Top, this top rail um, just really sits in there. So what you need to take off is the caulk or silicone on the inside, and then you can just pop that top frame rail out. Then you'll dive into the sides, and these actually are the parts of the frame that have fasteners. You'll have three different screws on the top, middle and bottom and the middle part had a little uh, bumper on it and kind of was hiding under there so that's why i was taking the razor blade uh, you'll try to remove that depending on how much silicone or caulk is in there you might need to remove it i did uh, need to loosen that up because I also i wanted to keep these frame uh, rails from not bending then jumping into the bottom you most likely are gonna have a little bit more silicone or caulk uh, in the bottom compared to the side rails or that, that top piece. So again, take your time. You don't wanna damage the fiberglass, but remove it from the inside, remove it from the outside, and then you should be able to kind of wiggle it loose. And I need to jump to the outside and kind of get the rest of that silicone off. Then you'll be able to pry it loose and easily just take this frame rail off the tub surround. All right, so that's it. it. Took about 20 minutes or so to get everything out. I do have a little bit more work to do. I don't want to bore you guys with, and that, and I'm sure you're seeing this as well, uh, silicone or the caulk residue. I need to take a razor blade and and remove that. Take your time. Don't scratch your fiberglass surround. And the only other thing, which I'm sure you're wondering, is how the heck do I handle uh, and patch the screw holes that are now through my fiberglass surround. So you can go ahead and take a look at this video. That goes through how I got this back to looking good, the surround, and also being watertight. So if you like these sort of videos, don't forget to hammer that like button. I would appreciate that, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care.